sign of the times as we deal with as black people all the uh, killings of the two brothers and uh, and uh, shooting of the cops um, and all the propaganda that's going on right now it's important that a lot of us stay focused on what's important a lot of you cats are probably too much on Facebook receiving too many opinions from dudes and people that just don't matter um, you know what I'm saying? Getting updates and people just keep sending you the video. Like I saw the video of, of homeboy in Baton Rouge like maybe 50 times. You know what I'm saying? It just become overwhelming. And sometimes you get caught up in what other people think of us. And, you know what I'm saying? And, and they always thought of us. You know, like I have one dude who sent me a, a, a private message through Facebook. Like, Freeman, man, you know, people think this way and I, you know, I don't really even want to deal with it. And I'm trying to explain to homeboy that, hey man, look man, uh, if somebody is waiting for, for the example to call you a nigga, they always thought it, homie. It, it didn't, if you know what I'm saying, you don't have to worry about selling, it was already in their head. If I think you stink, I'm waiting for the opportunity for you to come around me and you stink. So I'm going to think you stink in the beginning because I'm looking for it. But what I'm trying to get through to a lot of you cats is something real simple and basic. And that is, let things play out, young know, homie. You know what I'm saying? If you're smart and understand what life is about at this moment, you know that black people have always known this, but it just got caught on tape. You also know that you're on Facebook, Twitter, and all this shit all day, and, and motherfuckers are collecting data against your opinions. You know what I'm saying? Looking for somebody radical. You probably got all kind of fed motherfuckers listening, trying to egg you and bait you into having conversations and so that you put it on their record so they can come and fire you. Like, homie, this is a dangerous time for you to be reckless. It's just a sign of the times, homie. Every time the things that come up on Facebook or social media expose other people, young homie, it could be used against you. So you have to learn how to fall back, observe, give an opinion, move on. As you can tell on my Facebook page, you know I acknowledged it, put some up there, and then kept moving on with the other shit that I normally do on a daily basis. It's the same way I am in life. I acknowledge it. I know what's going on. You didn't dig what I'm saying? But I still get up and work out. I still handle my business. I'm still doing what I got to do. Don't let <clears throat> these times fuck you up. Don't let it become a sign of who you are as a man. Remember I tell you in this game, homie, it's chips and in life. You don't want to reveal your whole self to motherfuckers. You don't want them to have a record on. You don't want motherfuckers to remember. I remember when Freeman said, fuck the police. Nah, homie, I was just singing the song from NW. I remember though, Freeman, I remember. Motherfuckers are collecting data, homie. All this shit on social media is collecting data. Homie. Collecting opinions, collecting time, the dates, coordinating that with did this, when did this event happen? And when did Freeman post this picture? Okay, okay, okay. You know, you saw what I put up. I put up, you know, my, my comment of basically, uh, it, would I be an asshole if I woke up this morning and I thought chickens came home to roost? That's what popped in my mind. I didn't really elaborate on it, did I? I didn't really write too much extra on it. I didn't put up 20 pictures and all this shit. I kind of continued a string that we all saw, and then it was it. Never let people know what's in your mind, brother. See, when you have what I told you about protesting and expressing yourself, every time that you go outside and you tell motherfuckers what you're thinking, they can plan and counterplan against you easily. Right? But if you're quiet, what can they say? Freeman's aware of what's going on. We might have to send a troll and somebody to ask him some dumbass questions on Facebook, see if he's going to give a, a fake young brother some, some bad advice. You know, my name is Oscar Robertson and I've been following you for years, Freeman. And I just wanted you to know, what do you think about these devils? Should we get up and kill them? And I have to respond, homie, I don't want to kill anybody. I think you need to fall back, man. I'm not the radical dude. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't mean that I don't have the ideas of it. But why the fuck would I express it to you to a motherfucker I don't know on Facebook? And I guess the bait for a bitch is that you say, Freeman, you know? I've been following you for 20 years. I love what you're doing. I know, you know. Look, man, I tried to tell you a long time ago, man. You know, I consider myself to be a very smart cat. I consider myself to be a very disciplined cat. Unlike a lot of people, I'm not popping off at the mouth. I'm not trying to launch campaigns 
You know what I'm saying? I don't walk down the street singing hey, hey, ho, ho. You know, so who's the bigger threat? The cats you don't know or the cats you do know, right? So I wanted to make sure you cats understood this as we proceed through life, man, because it's a learning situation we are right here. It's some kind of understanding you can grab from all this bullshit. And the thing I want you to remember is fall back, young homie. Handle your business, young homie. They've been killing black people for a long time, homie. Right? Since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Beating up people since I was a kid. Since every movie you ever saw about L.A. is somehow the cop beating up the black dudes, dropping them off in somebody else's neighborhood, hoping they get killed by some Crips or some Bloods or some, some Mexican homies. You know, that shit been going on a long time in L.A. We used to it. I told you, it's a different thing coming about right now, young homie. <clears throat> you got people, and I'm not against Black Lives Matter, man. People, you got a right to express yourself in the form you feel is necessary. Who am I to tell you that you have to do it my way? I wouldn't do it that way. But so be it, right? It's a time is coming up where they have created a situation where a lot of people feel by clicking like and dislike that they're changing the world. But what's really scaring them is your likes and dislikes are now turning into protests and secret meetups. And people are showing up at the mall and not, you know, and you're doing uh, boycotts and shit. That's the real power of social media. Not that other shit. Not, hey, man, look at this lady's titties. There's none of that shit. The real power is the ability to organize behind one thing amongst disconnected people. So you listen to me on a podcast. You download it. You listen. I ain't never met y'all cats in my life. I don't even know what your neighborhood looks like. But yet, I can disseminate information to my people. It's a sign of the time. I'm using it for corrective action. A lot of people are using it for incorrect action. You know, it's like giving somebody a bike. You give a certain kind of people a bike, they go exploring and seeing what's around the corner. They get a job that they never saw over there. They meet a girl that they never were gonna meet. Some motherfuckers just pop willies. It's the same tool in the hands of one man or another will determine, you know what I'm saying, how much of a threat you are to other people, right? If you have a gun and all you want to do is use that gun to go target practice, you one kind of do. If you have a gun and they know that if somebody step on your land, you about to toe tag, you another kind of do because it's the intent of the tool you have. So the tool we have and the sign of the times that we have right now is social media. And the sign of the times that we all know is going on is that they're, they're going to gather enough information about you. And then whenever you saw when a uh, homeboy who killed all the cops, they immediately said, let's go to his Facebook page. Let's see who he holding hands with. Right now they got Professor Griff in the middle of this shit because he just shook the dude hand at some event. Now it's all maybe Professor Griff's part of it. You got to understand what's going on, young brother sign of the times that they digging deep into your shit let's see who you call your phone is like a tracking device you know how they triangulate to make sure you have a signal it's a tracking device your car with that on star shit is a tracking device you know what i'm saying almost everything you do and you voluntarily do it your fitbit that when you go walking around and you you know and you put a you tell it to tell you where you are they automatically track you that gps shit it's a sign of the time you got to be up on it to understand. I'm not telling you to be paranoid. Because a lot of the shit you do don't don't move no ways, homie. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't doing nothing wrong. See, that's why I tell people all the time. If you ain't doing nothing wrong, it ain't nothing wrong with this shit. But be aware of your emotions and putting them out in public. Because you got to understand something. If black people are aware, there's also somebody counter to that who's aware. You don't think they're all looking at social media right now, seeing how many black people... Facebook gives you goddamn metadata on how many times somebody says devil. So let's type in devil. How many times? What region is really saying devil the most? You know, what region is really saying kill the cops the most? You might see somebody post a picture of some dude look like he's cutting the throat of a cop. And you know, and you guys are hitting like to it. And you're like, you don't know who put that picture up originally. You don't, you, this is what I'm telling you, homie. Be aware. See, the sign of the times of what's going on right now is they are using social media just like you. Just like you, young brother. Right? To keep track of you. And discipline in this chip game translates to discipline in your life. Don't, don't always respond. Drop one thing about your disgust about what's going on and move on, brother. 
you gotta understand that this is an intelligence gathering thing. I told you all this shit when you see a commercial and they say, now you can start your car with your eyeball. <laughs> like, you done gave them shit that they, now you, all you gotta do is put your thumbprint on the gun, casing and it will unlock your, now you gave them your, your fucking fingerprint. They can never get their fingerprint because you didn't do nothing, but you just voluntarily give them your eyeball, your saliva test, your voice recognition. You motherfuckers are giving everything away. In the sake of technology, they couldn't do this shit without technology, young brother. See, they otherwise they'd have to massively bring your ass in, but since y'all motherfuckers are too young and dumb in the game to understand what the fuck coming on, y'all motherfuckers, ooh, Freeman, I'm gonna get the new Samsung S8 and they have a saliva test. And wow, man, don't you think it'd be cool if I can call you based on saliva? Like, goddamn. Oh, Freeman, I do this, I do this uh, DNA shit. Uh, you know, I want to check of what part of Ghana I'm from. But you know when you give your DNA, young homie, you know they checking to see if you got diseases? You know what I'm saying? They checking all kind of shit. You motherfuckers are just dumb. They mapping you, you retarded motherfucker. They mapping you. And now, you on Facebook reacting emotionally to young two brothers getting killed. I understand. I tell you this all the time, homie. I'm from Compton. Death is very normal to me. And I know that might be shocking to a lot of y'all cats. Y'all see me with that black on black crime. Man, get come on man, with that shit. I'm telling you that people die every day. I put that shit up on, uh, on, on Daniel Freeman Facebook. You know, where I said, you know, it's a part in the movie Paid in Full where, where the, the Rico says, you know, motherfuckers die every day, B. Like, it, it's not a big deal. Like, I, I have the same mentality. Like, shit happen every day, homie. A lot of y'all didn't grow up like that, so y'all shook by this shit. For me, it's like, damn, man, I told you in a long time, a podcast a long time ago, homie, I used to wake up saying, you know, motherfuckers say, hey, Freeman, don't get caught slipping, homie, don't get caught slipping on Rosecrans, don't get caught slipping over there off of Central, off of Alondra, off, you know, at the Carson Mall, don't get caught slipping and shit over there, you know what I mean, on Crenshaw, you know, we, in other words, man, death can happen to us, be aware of what the fuck's going on, homie, so I was already born with this heightened alert and this understanding that death is possible every fucking day of my life. So when I see this shit, I just don't react to it as much. You know what I'm saying? I do put my opinion out, but I don't continue it on, man. I don't get frustrated. I don't look for you to somehow look at things and say, oh, you know, I, that guy really said something. Be aware it's a sign of the time. Man. We done crossed over. A lot of you young cats aren't aware of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just want to be known. You know, I told you this is the generation of motherfuckers trying to say, look at me, look at me. Look at me, I got, I got, I got, uh, whatever, this jacket on. Look at me, look at me. Not so much look at me like in one thing, you know, I put up a, a thing a long time ago, a meme that said, you know, attention is the new drug, is the new thing, right? Because all y'all cats is, you know, like I tell you on the thing, everybody starts doing this Facebook live. Motherfucker, I don't care what, that you walking down the street. This shit is a sign of who you are, that you actually think that you got a following that people want to hear what the hell you say. It's like broadcasting in the space. You know what? I'm here tying my shoelaces, broadcasting in the space, letting motherfuckers see what I'm doing. Here's where I am. I'm, you know, like, what was that other one? Foursquare? Here's where I'm checking in at. Come and kill me. Come and track me down. You motherfuckers are just retarded with this shit. People are using this shit that you think you're using against them on you, homie. People, people, people are gathering data. What do you think Facebook does? Have y'all ever had a try to have a marketing campaign with, with Facebook? They will break out demographics. They will break out regions. They will break out everything saying we got 18 to 25. A lot of them located in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Okay. You know what I mean? And if you want to target this group, we can get it to you. Or when they put that bullshit, boost your fucking post for $2. Boost your post. We can get it to 180 people right now. Right? And you see this shit in front of your face, young brother, and you wondering how are they they you you part of the, the collection of the data. I am too when I log on. Freeman's logged on. Your friends here, everybody. Freeman's available in the chat room. Freeman has sandwiches. You ever notice that Facebook is trying to integrate everybody's shit into their shit? Isn't Facebook Live the same thing as you stream? And we want to integrate all of this shit in there. And then you hear dumb motherfuckers saying, well, Freeman, it's my brand. Like what? A brand of what? 
Everybody want to see what I'm doing. It's my brand, Freeman. Can't you see this is my brand? So these are things that I want you to be aware of, man. It's a sign of the times, homie. And in this situation, you have to learn how to be disciplined. Go ahead and do what you want to do, like I told you, homie. The majority of life ain't worth reporting on, homie. You going down the street, you getting something to eat, you letting motherfuckers know where you are and shit, and what kind of food you eating, taking pictures and shit, being a goddamn advertiser for Applebee's, me and my homies, we love the Skittle, the Skittle liquor that they got over at Sotheby's. And that's where we over here eating. All that checking in shit, is y'all some crazy motherfuckers. Y'all didn't grow up around death to understand that you don't want to be putting your shit out there like that. It's sweet, motherfucker. Y'all live a sweet life. I get it. I understand it. But it's a sign of the time, man. You need to be very cautious, very quiet. Look, man, when 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 people get killed, when black people get killed, if, if black people didn't get angry, it would be unnatural. Right? So when you see these motherfuckers come out and say, what we need right now is a prayer. That's unnatural. If, if somebody killed your brother, you do the first thing that pop in your head is if what we need right now is prayer. What we need right now is to have, you see how they force the agenda on you? We all need to come together and sit down like we, like we really need to sit down as black people. You motherfuckers need to stop getting in the way of the bullets from the cops, okay? And then I'm gonna go tell the cops, can you count to 1 100, 2 100, 3 100? Give the young nigga a chance to run. You know what I'm saying? We hunting them down, but give the nigga a chance to run. Come on. Man. This, is the, this is the time of intelligence. Remember, I tell you a lot. That's why I always tell people from the bottom. Because I don't, I don't know what the fuck going on with the dudes from the middle. Because y'all bought in. You know what I'm saying? Y'all bought into this mentality that. We need to sit down and, and have conversations and somehow we got to somehow talk our way out of 400 years of racism. We got to talk it out. All right? We got we to do something. We gonna, Obama's going to come back and say something. Motherfuckers jumping on Obama like Obama's Jesus. Where's Jesus at when you need him? <laughs> Where's Obama ass at when you need him? You know what I'm saying? He gave a soft ass remark. Where's, where's Jesus? Brother, we here by ourselves, man. And you know what's popping with these cops. You always did, brother. You know that from the day one of your life, man. Motherfuckers getting mad like, I gotta tell my kids how to deal with the cops. You know what I'm saying? Making that like some kind of burden we got. When I was growing up, man, people had to tell me how to deal with the Crips. Cause I didn't grow up on a Crip side, right? So that's just sad, man. Because it's black people and got, hey amen. I learned how to deal with danger and death. You know what I'm saying? It, is it a tragedy or is it the right thing to tell my young ass as I walk down the streets of Compton that shit could pop off, homie? So now we got a whole bunch of black people. Oh, you know, I gotta tell my kid, I gotta have a conversation with him that the cop is pretty much, he hates you and he might shoot you for no reason. So I, what I want you to do is you need to be calm. When this motherfucker's about to kill you, I need you to be calm. I told you this shit is backwards, young homie. I told you this shit is unnatural, young brother. Somebody trying to kill you, I need you to keep your, your voice low. I need you to take two deep breaths. Okay, I need you to... Motherfuckers doing Lamar's class like we about to have babies and shit with your motherfucker. But it is what it is. This is a sign of the time. This is the same shit that's been going on all the time, young homie. You just know that now it's on social media. Stop acting like this is new. It ain't new. When Rodney King got taped by the videotape, that was that technology. Now you got Facebook Live. I'm, Facebook is blowing up because Facebook Live just got introduced to y'all motherfuckers not so long ago and y'all already using it. Y'all got breaking news on a bitch when it comes to this shit. Breaking news. Johnny Five has been slapped in the face. You know what I'm saying? Backhanded on the streets of Compton. What the fuck? Y'all breaking news in this motherfucker. Be aware, young homie, how this shit is being used against you. You understand what I'm saying? When you shake a motherfucker's hand, you extend your hand to him too, right? Stop thinking that you somehow getting over. Stop thinking that you somehow untouchable. All you gotta do is be quiet, young brother. All you gotta do is make a statement and go back in the house. All you gotta do is not even have to make a statement. You ever notice that when a tragedy happens, 
somebody walks out and says, the lawyer, the spokesperson, the family of, of Charlie Murphy uh, would like to send his condolences to Billy Ray and Johnny Gill. And we would like to, uh, that's all the family would like to say. Then the motherfucker go back in the house. Right? Y'all, y'all like the dudes on the streets when, what happened? Well, Keisha came outside with a sandwich and she didn't have enough ham on it. So her, her boyfriend, her boo, said, bitch, where my ham? And then he smacked her. And she was trying to get more ham for him because you know he just loved that pork meat. He just didn't have enough pig ass on this meal. And then, damn! Look, homie, relax. The sign of the time. And I need y'all to read the sign. And relax. Keep handling your business. Let things play out. And like something that people, they don't want to control. You got to understand when I told you what expression is. Expression to people who are trying to control you is you telling them how you feel. What's wrong with you? Confiding in them. And then they adjust their plan accordingly. If you really want to have a, a issue where you can disrupt shit, be quiet. Get up when it's time to get up. Say something when it's time to say something. But if you aren't going to organize and do shit, man, just fall back. Stop letting this shit consume you, young brother. It ain't worth it. It's just another day. Next time, partner. <laughs>